Hi there, this is Iker Fahey from Spectral Audio, and I'm here today to give you a quick overview of the new updates for AcidGen Max for Life and AU slash VST3 editions. The new 1.1 update for the AU slash VST3 edition and the 2.1 update for the Max for Live edition adds new algorithms, features, and improvements to sequence generation, interface design, and more. So let's check out some of these new features and changes. So first of all, let's talk about what's included in both versions of AcidGen. These two updates add two new algorithms to AcidGen, Lead and Legato. The lead algorithm generates sequences with more sustained and spaced out nodes that can be used to generate lead lines and main melodies. When using the lead algorithm, we recommend that you increase the whole probability tweak in order to generate longer notes. The legato algorithm generates sequences where all notes are played in legato. This mode can be used with sustained instruments, such as strings, pads, or even sequence synthesizer patches. The new lead and legato algorithms are available in both the AU slash VST3 and Max for Live editions of AcidGen. The 2.1 update for the Max for Live edition includes many improvements that we've made to AcidGen during the development of the AU slash VST3 edition, as well as our latest hardware product, Engine. The 1.1 update for the AU slash VST3 edition also includes many improvements to the UI, pattern generation, MIDI timing, and more. Now I'd like to focus on a new feature that we've prepared exclusively for the AU slash VST3 edition of AcidGen. In the beginning of 2023, we released Engine, our new algorithmic MIDI workstation. And by the end of the overview video for the Engine, 
I said I would like to work on porting some of Engine's features back into our software products. And I'm happy to announce that the 1.1 update for the AU slash VST free edition includes six of the MIDI effects that we've built for Engine. Accent, Chords, Echoes, Glitch, Humanizer, and Spray. You can use these MIDI effects to modify and transform Asagen's sequences in many different ways to make them more interesting and unique. To activate a MIDI effects, click on the MIDI effects panel and select one of the MIDI effects available from the drop-down menu. The parameters available for the selected effect will be displayed in the effects parameter area. Let me quickly show you how each of these new MIDI effects work. Accent lets you modify the velocity of generated MIDI notes using an independent 8-step velocity sequencer with an optional intensity parameter. It offers an easy way of trying different accent grooves in your acetogen patterns. Chords generate up to four extra notes based on user-adjustable intervals. Echoes is a MIDI delay effect that features additional features such as random octave changes and MIDI velocity falloff. The glitch MIDI effect combines a random ratcheting processor with pitch and velocity modulation to mangle and glitch up sequences. Humanizer adds a more natural feel to sequences via random delays and velocity changes. Spray is a delay-like effect that generates copy of certain notes based on probability and random delay times. Keep in mind that all effects parameters, including the MIDI effects selector, can be modulated and automated. These MIDI effects are applied in real time and therefore they're not included when you export your sequences as MIDI clips via the drag MIDI button. If you like to keep the output of these effects, we recommend that you record the MIDI output of Acigen into another MIDI track in your DAW. So we hope you enjoy all these new features and improvements that we prepare for Acigen. For more information about Acigen, visit spectroaudio.com slash And as always, thanks for watching.